Yaystar P3 PBX can now integrate with Zoho Desk. This integration will realize automatic ticket creation for incoming and outgoing calls, as well as contact synchronization and auto creation. It will realize automatic process for customer requests received by phone system and greatly improve the productivity. In this video, we'll explain how to set up this integration step by step. Before we get started, we need to make sure that our Zoho Desk and PBX match the following requirements. And at the same time, we need to guarantee the access between the two platforms by activate Yaystar FQDM. Okay, here we go. For the first step, we need to get authentication information from PBX. We log into the PBX administrator interface, go to integrations, and click on help desk. Then we can find Zoho desk and click on integrate. In the network section, we can click to copy the homepage URL and authorize the redirect URL for the next step. Then we can move on to register an application on Zoho for the PBX. First, we log into Zoho API console with the account with the administrator privileges in Zoho Desk. Click on Get Started. Then we go to choose a client type page. Select server based applications. Then, in create a new client page. We can name the client and put in the home page URL and authorize the redirect URLs copied from the last step. Then click Create. A client ID and secret will be generated automatically. Here we should copy them for later. Now we can make authorization requests to Zoho Desk on the PBX. Let's get back to PBX Administrator interface and go to Zoho Desk integration page. In the authorization section, we can fill in the client and ID and secret we copied from the last step. And in account server address, put in the Zoho account server URL, then in Zoho Desk address, enter the Zoho Desk URL. Click on save. We'll see a pop-up page to confirm the integration. Click on accept. Hereby, we we'll finish the integration on server level. We can proceed to finish the integration on user level. Now we go to Zoho Desk page on the PBX. Here we will see a list of all Zoho Desk users. We can assign them one by one to PBX extensions. And if the Zoho Desk users and extensions share the same email address, we can also click on Associate automatically to bind them accordingly. Then we click on OK and Save. Now the clients are integrated. For the next step, we set up the contact synchronization and account creation. Go to the Zoho Desk setting page. We can check synchronized contacts automatically. Then choose types of contacts that we want to create. Then we can point a phone book to store all the contacts. Then we can go check on create new contact automatically. And we decide to activate it for inbound and outbound call. Then we set up which type of contact do we want to create. When we're down, click on save. Now the contact will be synced from Zoho Desk to P Service PBX. And in the meanwhile, automatically create new contact for unknown numbers. For the last step, we can set up automatic ticket creation for Zoho Desk. On the Zoho Desk setting page, we can check create a new ticket automatically to enable this function. Then we move on to choose when to create a new ticket and decide for which type of call do we want to realize automatic ticket creation. We can also choose multiple ones, then click on Save. Now we can realize automatic ticket creation for calls. All right, so that was how we figure out the integration between ASTAR P-Service PBX and Zoho Desk. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Need more details? Same as you roll, don't forget to visit yastar.com and subscribe our channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one.